Hello class, this is section 3.1 and in this video we are going to discuss second order linear equations. A second order differential equation simply means that the highest derivative that we are concerned about is the second derivative. So the equation can involve x, y, dy dx, and the second derivative. So that's what second order means. A linear second order equation is one that is linear in y, y prime and y double prime. That is, the terms y, y prime and y double prime always appear by themselves, they're never multiplied by each other. In other words, we can write down the equation in this form, ax y double prime plus bx y plus sorry bx y prime plus cx y equals fx so you see you can have x and y multiplied together but you can't have y prime and y double prime or y prime and y or y squared anywhere so all the y terms are by themselves and this is what we call a linear equation in this case a B, C, F are usually continuous in an interval i that we care about. All right, so some examples. Um, this is going to be a linear second order ODE. Oh, okay, let me change that. Let's say this way instead. Okay. So this is a second order differential equation because we have a y double prime term here and no third derivative or fourth derivative. It's also linear because the y prime, the y and the y double prime term are all by themselves. Now we have an x y double prime here, but that's fine. You can multiply the x with the y terms. So this is a uh, linear and second order. Another another example is this one. So we take y double prime equals y prime y, or y double prime plus y cubed equals x. Okay, these are both second order ODEs as well. Don't let the three here fool you. We can have cubes to have sec be second order, but we can't have third derivatives to be second order. So these are both second order ODEs, but they are not linear. So this, these are second order and not linear. And the reason they aren't is, you see in this first equation, you have a y prime and a y multiplied together, which means they are not linear. You have a, you could, they are not on their own. In this equation, we have y cubed here. So y is multiplied by itself three times. So this is very not linear. So I hope this is enough to demonstrate the difference between a linear and a nonlinear second order equation. For most in the big, of the beginning of this chapter, at least we are going to concentrate on this case, the linear second order equations. Oopsie. Okay. Now let's just let's talk, talk about something. So let's go back to this expression here. This expression. Here, here in this chapter, we usually assume that ax is never zero, and we can then divide the entire equation
So what we have here is that we can isolate the y double prime term, and that's usually something that we like to do in all our differential equations anyway, right? Is to make sure that the highest derivative term is by itself. And here, you know that p is just um, b over a, q is just c over a, this little f is just big F over a. Right, so we're just dividing the entire equation here by a. And this is usually the form where we start solving the differential equations. We always like to start with the highest derivative by itself. It makes things a little simpler. We say, definition, we say that a differential equation that's linear and a second order is right in red homogeneous if fx equals zero so that this term that doesn't have any y in it is zero. This is actually slightly confusing terminology because if you remember last chapter we had a concept of a homogeneous first order equation. And unfortunately, the definition of homogeneous here and the definition of homogeneous we learned in chapter one have nothing to do with each other, which is an unfortunate way that uh, things got defined. But anyway, for this chapter, a differential equation is homogeneous if the term that doesn't have any y's in it is zero.